this video will show you how to configure and execute equations from a different sensor using maps or things. First step is that defining the source sensors. That is, uh, I need to have one or more of its readings to be part of the equations. And also make sure to enable the cache status for these sensors. So in example, I will select sensor 1 and use reading 1 of its, the sensor. And also select the sensor 2 and using read 1. Reading 1 as well. So I need to confirm it's cached before I finish step 1. The second step is that I will need a new sensor. The new sensor will add reading as much as I need to map the source reading. In our example, I'm only using two readings from one reading from sensor 1 and a second reading from a sensor 2. I will add in the new sensor add readings to map to these two readings and I will make sure they are cache related. In a cache related extra parameter format should be followed this one where a sensor ID will have the ID of a sensor 1 and reading will have the sensor readings of a sensor 1. And I will show you this in a, in a minute. And finally, the new sensor, I will add a reading of a type equations stating the required equations. So I will have a new sensor. This new sensor have first reading which is mapped to the sensor 1. And the second reading is mapped to the reading from a sensor 2. An equation reading, which is have a simple equation adding, calculating the addition of two, two readings. So the third step is to configure a monitor. So this monitor will trigger an enrichment event that will fire once there's a reading come from one of the sensors. This enrichment event will enable the new sensors to get the cache readings and execute the related equation. So in our example, uh, for S1, I get a reading one, and S2, I reading as well, get a reading as well. This one of the reading, sensor one, for example, will find enrichment monitors. This fine enrichment monitor will get the new sensors, get the data from the cache, and calculate the equations. In the next step, the next phase of this video, I will show you how to accomplish this in the mass of things ID. This part of the video will show you how to configure and execute equations uh, over readings from a different sensors using the ID of mass of things. After logging to the ID, go for tools and sensor managers. In sensor manager, I need to confirm in the first step if the sensors as a, have a choose as a source if this sensor is cache or not. So I will go for the first sensor, which will be S1, and I'll go for edit mode. And I will check if it's cache or not. If it's not cache, I need to enable the caching. So I scroll down to see it's not cache, so I need to enable the cache. Follow the step to complete the edit and update sensor. Once updated, I will click here to view and confirm it's uh, now it's cached so i see the caching okay it's caching so i'll go for the second sensor which is s2 and again it's a click in edit mode so once i i will check with the cache if it's not enabled it's not cached so i enable caching complete the editing process in and go for the view mode and see if it's cached or not just confirming uh, it's cached perfect so to the next step I will add a new sensor which is will have the equation and I will choose a convenient name for the equation let's say equation sensor and this is a uh, sensor code this is internal number can be used any one and for a sensor driver manager default will be one here now I am using two sensors, uh, different sensor. I am using two readings only from these two sensors, so I will add only two reading, and this is, will be a type of cache related, and also adding an equation reading that will have equation type. 
this other parameter can be filled it's not relevant to our example here so click next as I said R1 will point for the first reading as sensor 1 R2 will point to the first reading in a sensor 2 so they need to be a cache related type and the last reading it's equation reading it need to be an equation to, to run the equation over these two readings so moving to the next step the next step I see I see a list of the reading have been added but this is the configuration of this reading so and this is one as reading one R1 and R2 as cache related I need to use the format of the cache related to point to the source reading so I will be using this sign text and copy it here and I need to replace this with a sensor ID of sensor 1 and this with the reading name that I'm using from a sensor 1 so maybe come back to the sensor 1 and this is sensor 1 I will have this ID come back in the reading confirm again the reading is scroll down to the reading it's reading 1 okay so I'm done here for the R2 it will be point to the sensor S2 so again I will need to use a syntax okay I have it here in the text box ready and I need to replace this with sensor correct sensor ID the sensor ID for S2 is this one and the reading name I'm referring to in a sensor 2 is read 1 as well okay So now R1 and R2 configuration is ready. Next thing is the equation reading. For the sake of, the, of, of this example, I will have small equation over using R1, R2. And this, for example, I will use R1, get me the value of R1 plus R2. So I'm ready now. And I have my, my new sensors uh, ready. So I will add sensor. Now I get a confirmation. This is a sensor. The new sensor have been added, and can I can go for the view of this sensor to confirm. Equation sensors have two sensors, in, in addition to the equation. Okay. The the next part is that I will configure monitors. Let's have this one copied here with us configure monitors this monitor first I need to you need to select the sensor uh, uh, for our example I'll select as two sensors okay and click next and I select the reading of the sensor then I will choose enrichment event in each event I can choose any naming convention which is let's say equation monitor event for example or event. and this will be triggered at any value came from the reading one of the sensor two and it will fire the target sensor or equation sensor I click submit so what's happening here when I add any reading to the sensor 2 it will trigger the monitor and reach the target sensor so what did this mean Did this mean that if I go for the try add value manually to the sensor 1 and sensor 2 I will have this value and reach it and Let's add first to the sensor one. Let's add 10, one, maybe 100, okay. And maybe add a reading again to sensor two. So it's not again adding now to sensor two. 20, for example. 
now these two values have been added so I can visualize this I confirm that I'm the monitor is working probably by maybe creating a project and visualize this one so I will say uh, create a project and state it uh, name as equation create equation first page I can have this page as a sensor number the equation sensor number and I can bring okay I will not I will notice the equation is not available the equation sensor is not available because I need to refresh the ID okay I need to load this one I didn't save the project so I will need to create again uh, the updated sensor so again moving again equation create equation and add the page and the page let's have a sensor now if I add a grid and say Now the sensor has been added, I will select all the readings, save my project, maybe add a little bit of visualizing, yeah, don't enable scrolling, again save, and run this one. I will see that I have get the reading of uh, sensor 1, and reading of sensor 2, and then I run the equation. So now I can get an equation and uh, over readings from a different sensors. Thank you for watching.